Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, guys, we'll show you if you have a BMW X1, guys, and you have a battery drain, your battery is dying, guys, and this is, uh, okay, because uh, you think it, maybe it's a bad alternator that's killing your battery. Let's say, guys, okay, you're driving, everything's great, the alternator is charging your battery you have good charging voltage probably 14 14 and a half to 15 volts no problems at all and the moment you turn the car off you leave it for a day two or three next you try to start it and your battery is dead and you're wondering what's happening guys it could be alternator that looks fine that actually kills your battery and we'll demonstrate guys how to test it today now we're demonstrating on a six cylinder n52 engine but even if you have guys four cylinder six cylinder gasoline or diesel engines guys all of them will be the same procedure because alternators work the same way now Quick introduction to the channel guys, every single car we get at the shop we make at least 200 free repair videos, specifically on BMWs guys we make more than 4 to 500 videos, why? Simply because our mission here at the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can, all we need in return guys please subscribe to the channel and like the video so we can keep providing that free information, if you guys need to buy a new alternator or the two that we'll be using to test it, we will have the links shared in the description of the video below for your convenience, so please check it out now let me explain what we need to do two things that we need to do before we actually start uh, testing the alternator this is the good alternator that we'll test this is the bad one and we'll demonstrate how to distinguish that guys step number one you need to disconnect the car battery on your bmw x1 guys now most of you probably know how to do that but if you don't it really matters guys okay which terminal you disconnect first okay positive or negative and which one you reconnect if you do not know that guys okay it could be very bad okay if you do it the wrong way because you can cause damage to the electrical system components modules car computer you can damage quite a few things so always follow the right procedure we'll have the video okay if you're uh, wondering how to do that in uh, share it in the description of the video guys below we'll have the link there check it out why we need to disconnect the battery because here we'll need to disconnect this is the 12 volt positive charging wire this is the wire coming from the alternator going to the car battery usually will be attached with one big nut 13 millimeter socket remove that one guys okay and this is the battery charging terminal right here positive terminal at that point we are ready for testing tools that we will need okay let me explain quick guys okay now this alternator is open on the back so i can show you the other one is still closed we remove the cover so i can show you guys those are the diodes that can actually drain your battery and we'll explain how they're supposed to stop the flow of energy from the car battery to the alternator but if they're not working actually that will be a problem so let us explain you now guys okay i'm getting okay i'm getting here the um the voltmeter turn it to the second position and we'll select the diode testing click select twice we're on the diode section right here i'll put it right here guys so you can see the action yourself now what i'm going to do this is the 12 volt positive terminal so we're going to touch this with the black lead next find a clean spot on the casing or where usually the bolt attaches it's very clean or otherwise you have to scratch it a little bit and check it out okay we have a reading of about 540 this is amazing guys now if it's between 5 and 800 this is a really good reading now you need to switch them put the red lead on the battery positive terminal right here guys that's going to the battery okay that's the charging wire put it here touch here and nothing happens that's how it should be it should give you no reading now let's go ahead and show you on this alternator here guys okay what we have there so you can see the reading perfect now what i'll do touch the black lead on the charging terminal then i'm going to touch the casing and we have about 550 which is great right but when i switch things that's when things get ugly guys and we'll explain why check it out now we should get no reading what's happening we get two volts guys so that's definitely a problem that's definitely an alternator that kills our battery guys in about one night so replacing it will fix our problem hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you having that problem thank you for watching guys please subscribe to the channel for more help and see you guys next time